Jeff Gibbons here with another machine video, and in this one, I'm going to be looking at Arcus, newest instrument on the Native Instruments website, and it is made in collaboration with Orchestral Tools. It's a very simple layout, and I got a sneak preview at it, and I just started playing with it, and I thought, why not just make the video at the same time? So I'm gonna walk through some of the patches, have a look at it for myself for the first time. Definitely aimed at the scoring, uh, ambient type of music, but it'll work really nicely with machine. So we'll have a look at it, listen to some sounds, and let you decide if this is right for you. Here is Arcus. So I started with this patch right here, the solo that one. That was the first layer. It's this beautiful sound. And you see when you load up Arcus, you get access to the three different layers. And we can see the layers up here on the screen. You have controls for volume for the three different layers. So I can adjust the volume of this dulcimer layer with my machine or with complete control. And then the same thing with the volume of layer two and the volume of layer three. And then you also have this center thing. If I cycle over to the first page of the machine, you can see this blend right here. And that allows you to go between those three different layers. So I could start with layer one, add layer two, and then add layer three. You also have the ability to crank up the effects chain right here. So I click this effects tab. Looks like I get a filter, some kind of bit crushing kind of thing, distortion, chorus, delay, and a reverb. It's pretty simple layout. We've got envelope right here just for your basic amplitude envelope. And then we've got an LFO as well. Filter, delay, and reverb on layer one effects. And it looks like the same sort of thing on all of the three different layers. And then we've got up top here, we've got the browser, and it looks like we can go to each layer and choose from their different sound sources that they recorded on a beautiful stage. Okay, so I just played that one in, and then I went over to this second group here, and I loaded up Infinite Escape. And this is the most recent expansion. I just did a video on it, put a link to that in the description, and the more I use Infinite Escape, the more I like this expansion. So I gotta say, I'm having a lot of fun with that expansion. So with that one, just played something in. And then I went to another patch. This is where I decided I'd start the video. So let's check out some tones here. In order for me to hear the second layer and the third layer, I need to crank my blend here all the way up. There's my layer two. And here is layer three. Let's go look through some of these sub patches. We'll just try a bunch out. Here's one called Bubbling Subs. Pretty cool. this down the octave. Oh, that's fun. Hey, I like that. That's pretty intense. I don't really get a mixer, so I can't see which one is, is louder right now, but let's go to layer two. Turn it off for a sec. Layer three. Okay, so there's our swelling one. Layer two is... That's, that's pretty neat. They all have kind of an organic sound to them. I guess that's the point. So I'm gonna play something in there. So let's try something else. We've got kind of a bass patch in there. Let's go for some motions and see what we've got. I'm gonna start a little backwards. Here's layer two.
kind of interesting. We've got a bit of a melody, a really slow moving melody. Let's make a new group. Command T, by the way. Back to motions for a sec, see what we've got other than that one patch. So what I think I should be doing from now on is just crank up the layer blend here. So then I can hear what the different layers are. Turn off all the layers for a moment. So it's doing that flutter tongue on the mouthpiece and getting a little bit gritty to the next patch. Sparkling orchestra. That's really nice. Reads. Hang drum is a beautiful metal instrument and kind of play these different layers, almost like a steel drum. And but I do like this reed one. I'm just going to go with that one. playing some random notes but it's kind of working. I don't know if I'd want to just keep using only this instrument normally because they're all such long drawn out sounds, textures, right? So that's probably where this thing is aiming to be uh, useful is as these, these dark textures that happen in the background. <laughs> So you can hear that one had a filter on it right away. doing any super fast passages with this one but it's definitely uh, got some more texture to it let's take it up an octave going in places that I wouldn't normally go and again it's just always being inspired by the sounds which is so often how I work. So let's start from scratch. Got a new one loaded up. So this is that same patch that I used in the first one. What I did with that first one is I automated this guy right So I just played the, the notes in and then I held down automation and then just Played around with that control. Let's find a new patch, see if we can get inspired. Let's go to, let's try sparkles. Try in the middle somewhere, sad sparkles. So we'll go to the first page, crank up the layer, and then go check out the different layers. this down to 65 and we can hear that those piano tones aren't changing so they're not syncing to the tempo of the song that's just like a sample so it's it's a little bit more random 
Okay, let's try Rookie Mermaids. I love the patch name. Okay, try next one. See what's on this one. Crank up the layers. A mandolin. Oh, I like that one by itself. So let's go with just that one for now. Go to keyboard mode. I'm going to change this to uh, modes, and I'm going to change it to Dorian. Let's just get another one of these patches up. Let's go to our sounds. I'm going to go to textures because we haven't looked at textures yet. something a little bit more percussive. doing is just playing through the scale and just playing the pads and not really thinking too much about what notes I'm playing. There is one spot where I change from the, this Dorian mode so I'm just going to change that. And let's go back and do, do, go to a new group and see if we can get some kind of beat going on. So I'll just show you Infinite Escape. Okay, that's kind of neat. Let's add another Arcus in there. Maybe we'll see if we can find some kind of bass sound that's going to work with that. All right, let's go to our sub category. Ghostly subs. Oh yeah. Try some of the pads. We haven't looked at the pads yet. Oh, this could be nice. Let's try going to chord mode for a second. And let's try going to a Dorian mode. I'm going to start out in the Dorian mode. 
and then I'm going to switch it after because it switches halfway through this little riff. So I'm going to do the first two chords. Then for this next half, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this eight bars. And for the next half, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to a different mode. I'm going to switch to back to minor, just regular minor. So then I can get those chords in there. So I'm just going to press play and then pick up. Try something else. Let's go to let's go to motions again and see what we can find for motion sounds. Oh, that's nice. Let's have a look at stutters. I don't know if we've looked at stutters at all. Steamy winds. I haven't looked at swells either. Oh, that's neat. So that gives you a taste of some of the patches, definitely more of an ambient type thing. Would work really well with other orchestral sounds, maybe more in a, in a soundtrack kind of place. Thanks for watching, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.